Now we shall solve question number 5b. The question is as follows. A coin was tossed 400 times and head turned up 216 times. Test the hypothesis that the coin is unbiased at 5% level of significance. As I told you, the question number 5b uh, will be of uh, testing of hypothesis for 1% one, uh, 1 or 5%. The question is as follows like this. Move on to solution. We, we need to find out uh, the P and Q value. So for that purpose, I am considering, let us suppose that the coin is unbiased. Our assumption is what? The coin is unbiased. So therefore, P will be 1 by 2. The probability of getting success uh, when you toss a coin, the probability of getting head or tail is what? 1 by 2. So, P is defined as 1 by 2. Thus, we know that Q can be written as 1 minus P. So, 1 minus 1 by 2 will be equal to 1 by 2. That is the value of Q. So, after knowing the value of P and Q, so given value N, that is 400 times a coin is tossed. So, therefore, N is equal to 400. As we are solving the problems of large sample, N is equal to 400. Given head turned up 216 times I will consider that value as x so knowing that value x minus mu or x minus np I will find out x minus np so as they are not given uh, the mean average directly so x minus if they have mentioned x uh, mean value we can directly consider x minus mu as they are not mentioned we will go with x minus np here so substitute x value and n value and p value simplify that we are going to get the value of 16 so and find out standard deviation that is square root of n p q we are going to get square root of n value p value q value simplifying that i am going to get value as 10 then considering the normal variant z is equal to x minus n p divided by square root of n p q we are going to get Substituting the value above value 16 by 10, we are going to get 1.6, which is less than the critical value that is for 5% level of significance. The critical value is the table value. We, we have 1.96. Therefore, as the value is less than 1.96, thus we can conclude that the coin is unbiased. Therefore, the hypothesis is accepted at 5% level of significance. So, this is how we need to solve the given problem. So, see the marks distribution for this. So, for finding out P and Q may carry as the question carries 7 marks for P and Q and N. So, it may carry 2 marks. So, for solving for X minus NP, the remaining formula for solving all these carries 4 marks weightage and finally giving the conclusion carries 1 mark. So therefore 4 plus 3 will be 7 marks will be awarded for this question. So this is how we need to solve this problem. If you have any doubts you can put a comment. I will clear your doubts. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly do subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you all.